Factoring again. This one doesn't have a common factor, but it's a trinomial. So I am going to try my binomials and reverse the effects of FOIL. Oh, 12 has a lot of choices. 1 and 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. I know because of this last negative sign that the signs will be different, but I'm not at all prepared where to stick them in now. 6, regrettably, has some choices, too. They are 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. But as I'm thinking about it, with FOIL, the outside and inside terms subtract to make the middle term. And you know something? 1 is kind of small. So let's at least try numbers that are close together, like the 3 and 4 and the 2 and 3. Let's just see if, by trial and error, we can hook them up appropriately to give us a difference of 1. Let's see. If I took the 4 times the 3, that'd be 12. Then the 3 times 2, that'd be 6. No, that's not a good choice. But if I took the 4 times the 2, I would get an 8, and with letters 8xy, and the 3 times the 3 is a 9xy. My signs are different. I want the end product to have a negative 1. I'll make that 9 negative, the 8 positive, and now let's fit it into the blanks. Here is 3x and 4x, giving us our 12x squared. The 4 was hooked to a 2. The 4 is part of inside terms, so if I put down plus 2y, I'll get that plus 8xy that I needed. The 3 was linked with the 3, and I needed a minus. So if I put down minus 3y and multiply those outside terms, give me what I need, 